by the Coleman Dental Group. Uh, let's do a little bit of news here. We'll have our esteemed panel up here. Zach has left the building. Matthew joins us this morning. We'll talk about the great race. By the way, when is it? Uh, April 6th, so three weeks from Saturday. Oh, so we got registration. And those are healthy folks. Yeah, we'll talk about I mean, that just a little bit, too. trying to get healthy. All right, let's do, let's do some news this morning. Mm -hmm. Eight. ATV dispute, that's a four-wheeler, leads to gun draw. Uh -oh. This is out of front page USA, I mean USA Today. Excuse me, big difference. Athens News Courier. <laughs> An East Limestone man fed up with the noise of a four-wheeler near his home has been charged with reckless endangerment, menacing, and third-degree criminal mission after he allegedly right. used a shotgun Sunday to shoot out two tires on an all-terrain vehicle. How'd that go, Frank? Wow. Good. Limestone County Sheriff Mike Blake said the lead shooter, a 67-year-old, did not own the property off Dole Road near Capstone, Shapshaw Road, but the neighbor who was upset with the noise and the dust kicked up by the ATV went over there, confronted the kid on it, or a man, whoever's on it, and uh, he's, this guy had been known to confront riders before. It ain't his property, and it ain't their property. Now, now nobody's allowed to be on the property. <laughs> he just says uh, he's out on bond now, this guy, but went over with a shotgun shot the tires out of oh the void. Hey, yeah. hey, at least he didn't miss. Right. But here's the story I want to get to. Uh, Y'all know Decatur opened up a new Carmack Theater. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know what the problem is? According to Decatur Day this morning? Teenagers. They've had to stop two movies. Stop the movie mm -hmm. to tell the crowds to calm down. Mm -hmm. The new wow. Carmack 12 movie theater in Decatur Mall is looking to improve security after unruly crowds, Matthew, disrupted screenings during its opening weekend. The long-anticipated theater apparently didn't even make it through an opening night without an incident. A 23-year-old man had to go to the emergency room, claimed to have been injured in a fight at the theater the night before. Uh, they said here that they asked the manager to stop the movie, the police did, so we could talk to everybody and ask them to behave themselves or we would remove them and they would not get a refund. They, Dark Side will stop. The uh, other movie on The Exorcism 3 or something was stopped. And when the movie ended, Numerous uh, can, uh, bo uh, what is it? What they have cans? Popcorn and cokes <laughs> were thrown at the new theater screen. No. Kids today can't That's believe. Awesome. That's because they don't get their butts with Now, can you imagine taking your <laughs> kids to a screening like this? Thirteen-year-old girl said she's scared to death. I bet she was. And this happens. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I I mean that's uncalled for. I mean, you just, just like you said, it's it's hard mm -hmm. to believe that people would go to a movie and and do that. You know. Put that belt on that, that ain't exactly now. texting on a hand. cell phone or talking, you know. That's being disruptive. Put them in time. Wait out. till the sheriff gets up here. Well, ask uh, her uh, what she's going to do about right. it. Sure, she'll uh -huh. fix it, right? That's right, yeah, we'll she'll say. Fix it. She'll put something on that butt. <laughs> uh, like, speaking of sheriffs, limestone uh, vote on jail funds. Limestone County Commissioners, this is Decatur Daily, are leaning toward a jail expansion that would uh, leave 10,800 square feet of unfinished space for further expansion. It's going to cost about two to two and a half million dollars. On Monday, the commission will vote either for that option or a less expensive one coming up this Monday, Limestone County Commission. Where'd you graduate high school? Uh, Decatur Heritage. Decatur Heritage. Okay, Brad, you went to Austin, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they're talking about de combining Decatur and Austin High School. I've heard that. Think mm -hmm. it's going to happen? City residents want to know by the end of May whether Decatur keeps the status quo or starts planning for the consolidated high school. So we'll keep you updated on that. Yes. Last night, they had some big celebrities. None of us seem to be invited to this. Uh, to what fight <laughs> cancer? Here's Mayor Ronnie Marks. Takes an order from Alan Johnson, uh, site supervisor of the IHOP, another competitor of yours, Matthew, coming in town. Wait a minute, I like that. They raised last night $1,700. Uh, they collected, I think Sheriff was there too. It was all for the relay fly for a good cause. That movie, Muscle Shows, that I told you about that documentary, they have Magnolia Film Industries or something has got the rights to that. They're going to put it on PBS. Supposedly this was a fantastic movie three years in the making about uh, Rick Hall and Fame Studios over in Decatur. Third Friday's back with a bang this weekend. That's the first time of the year they started that over in Decatur. You ever been to that? I they haven't. say it's really good over in downtown Decatur. Now with the Mellow Mushroom open, they got even more stuff over when there. When are they going to do a movie on you? Documentary. Oh, I'm doing it myself. Tuesday through Friday. Or there was a mockumentary about you. <laughs> what? Mockumentary. Mockumentary. <laughs> no, she said it right. Tuesday through uh, Friday, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. <laughs> My next door neighbor asked me yesterday, who always seems to look like I got a punch in a time card to come home. <laughs> Where do you work? <laughs> well, you ought to be up at 4.30 when I'm coming in.
<laughs> okay, she, is. she is. walks in now, and I just got through talking about it. We're going to get her thoughts on this in just a moment. The good sheriff of Morgan County. She got a gun. You're, you'll say yes, ma'am, to her. She can take you. Tanner Community, they were on the program earlier this week talking about how they can uh, uh, get rings. They need $12,000. They win, seem to win everything in state. That's a drug dog, Anna. <laughs> it's uh, all over the, the, the Tanner High School boys track team won last spring. Ba football team won this year. Basketball team won again. So they need $12,000 for rings over that way. Of course, y'all did hear about the big trial being moved to Wetumpka. Harvey Updike. Yes. The man accused, allegedly, of poisoning Auburn's trees over that <laughs> accused. way. Accused. He admitted to it. All right, a couple of national stories. Of course, we already, I told y'all I'm poked out. <laughs> yes. Poked out. I'm poked. Hard enough. He was, a, he was a, not supposed to win it, but he did. His name is now Pope Francis. But that, I don't even know where he got that from. His name is, uh, wait a minute. Okay, how do you pronounce J-O-R-G-E? Is that George or? I'd go or George. George. Or, or if it's Spanish. It'd be, Giorgio. It'd be. Giorgio? Giorgio. Giorgio Mario no. Bergoglio. I mean, that's his real name. <laughs> Well, heck, where did he get, where did he get Francis? Francis? Francis is a better name. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. a kilt, and he'd be the pr proper name, Francis. Yeah. Anyway, he, he's in. He's in. So he's you don't know how to come up with Pope names? He, uh, huh? You don't know how to come up with Pope names? Saints. Uh, you should have educated us as well. That's why I come, is for this kind of education. <laughs> right. I feel like next, I'm missing out this morning. Next time I'll have that, Matthew. <laughs> I'll keep my good eye on you. That's the first, right. first time a European. A little, a little national news this morning. Okay. Police in Utah say they arrested a husband and wife bank robbery team that took their child, two children along for the heist. How'd that go, Frank? 27-year-olds were both caught with a 5-year-old and a 2-year-old in the back seat, probably st safely strapped in. According to the Salt Lake Tribune, the couple told police they robbed the bank because they faced eviction and growing medical bills. Always a good reason to rob a bank because you need money. <laughs> Police say a, a woman in New York was holding her holding her baby boy, ten months old, plunged mm -hmm. eight stories trying com committing suicide, killed her uh, baby, survived with no injuries. Oh, wow. nice. Baby bounced. Wonderful. What they say? All right. Don't forget, join the herd. Athens four six thirteen. Matthew, we'll talk more about that in just a little. Ten K five and one mile run. You can register on that. And they just told you he did about Wes Weckler. I'm a big NFL fan. Moving on, going to the over to uh, Broncos, where he played with Matthews. And yes, ESPN has hired Ray Lewis, but they checked him oh. out on that. You know, when he was in that double murder, murder down in yeah. Atlanta, well, Buckhead years, years ago. That he pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice yeah. too. Y'all believe that? <laughs> yeah, he was obstruction, all right. He's the one who did it. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll talk more about him. But the good sheriff's in town from Morgan County today. Lots so we'll to talk, talk, talk to her about a couple things coming up in just a moment. And we'll go to Danny Beep Beep. No, Danny Roadrunner Johnson. Beep Beep. Beep Beep. Beep Beep. We'll see what he's got to do with Sheriff Blakely and all <laughs> that too. That so shot over the weekend. Plus, we'll talk to Greg about the yogurt shop opening up. Now, a lot of y'all might not know this, it's near the liquor store. <laughs> There's uh, one in Athens. There's a liquor store in Athens? <laughs> Glad you asked that Where question. is it? Yeah, it's Greg's building. But anyway, <laughs> we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Y'all, hang on.